Hey everybody, this is Hari Swaminathan from OptionTiger.com reviewing the SPX action for Thursday, August 8th. And you can see the market started off at, uh, a, uh, at an elevated level and took some time for the ticks to sort of uh, get going. But somewhere around here, a couple of hours into the trading day, you can see that uh, you're getting these two signals right there. The RSI based on the price action has always been in the, in the bullish zone. But uh, in terms of the ticks, you wanted to get a clear uh, uh, signal and that would be this. And of course, you don't get shaken out by one dot and uh, perhaps uh, all the way until here, you would uh, you would be in the trade. So if you took this trade right here, uh, which is this bar, uh, let's say the middle of the bar would be 29, 21. And then you go all the way till here, which is 29, uh, 27. So about six, seven points. Uh, so about, uh, you know, a $1,200 trade. But if you did not get shaken out here, you could have gone all the way here. This was another small trade that you could have, but that would have been a, a fairly small trade. Other than that, I think after that, the action just goes flat and you can see even the ticks don't and even the RSI uh, starts oscillating too much. So really one good trade here and one maybe a smaller trade. Uh, that's for the price action on Thursday. Uh, and, you know, but all you, you know, you're looking for this one opportunity and you'll definitely get that. Uh, I think the key is to not try to over trade, not try to force a trade when there is none. Uh, you wait for the right signal and that's when uh, you can get a good trade. And uh, some of these opportunities, you might get one or two a day. And, uh, you know, that's uh, that's really what it is. You want to take the best opportunities and take the best advantage of them. Thanks. This is for Thursday, uh, August 8th. The SPX ticks as well as the custom RSI are uh, custom indicators and algos. If you have any questions you can go to this bitly link uh, bitly slash spx algo and you can find more information on how to get these indicators thank you